Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of February, and this is an example set up for one of our stocks trading signals for today. Our members get both long and short signals every day for trading the fifth wave of an Elliott Wave sequence on weekly, daily, and 60-minute time frames. We also, I also produce a video every day so people can understand how I'm setting these up from the signals. So in the members area, it's very simple. Uh, we go on to long trades, for example, I've chosen long today. Click on the image, downloads the, um, the spreadsheet with all the results on. So let's have a, look, a quick look at the spreadsheet here. So we get weekly, daily, 6 minutes down at the bottom. After the big uh, pullback last night, after the, the Fed um, chair questioning, we um, got lots of potential long setups on the 60 minute time frame. So I've chosen one of those today. So let's have a look at the chart for STLD on the 60 minute time frame. So this is the 60 minute time frame for STLD. I'm using the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. We also have it available for Think or Swim, TradeStation and Multicharts. So for those members here, I've chosen to um, isolate the bar, the wave count, sorry, right at the bottom here and these lows, if we just zoom out a little bit. This is the low here. We've got some corrections here. Then we've got another low, almost forms a double bottom. And then we start to move up and move away from this consolidation zone. And that's the trend. Now we've had the wave four pullback. We're looking for support, even with the big bearish move yesterday. We didn't break this previous day's wave four low. So let's zoom in and have a look here. So first of all, just to remind people, the filters on the scanner filters out the 535 oscillator down here at the bottom. We're looking for a pullback on this wave four on the oscillator and crowning between 90 and 140%. As you can see, it's done that here. We also filter out the stochastic crossover in the oversold zone. It's done that. And also the wave four pull has pulled back into our amber zone, which gives it an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here in blue. So we've had that wave four pullback. Despite the negative pressure on the markets uh, in the last uh, few hours of the session yesterday, this didn't break the wave four low support here. So this is looking very encouraging, but we've still got to be quite conservative on entry here guys so we need to look at the high of the previous day on Monday uh, and we need to make sure we're going in above that usually we use the 6-4 moving average high this green moving average high here for for a conservative entry but I want to be even more conservative here to make sure we're well and truly back on the uh, on the in the direction of the main trend there so entry here is 48.78 Stop loss just below the wave four there. The wave four low is 47.60. So you need like a, a 47.13, something like that on the uh, stop loss. Nice and tight because if it does break that wave four low, we're not interested. Uh, and then we've got the target hit zone up here around about 51, $52. As you can see, even with a conservative entry here on this strategy, uh, we've got a 1% risk between the stop loss and entry and a potential reward of 2% to the top end of our target zone there. So a great risk reward, conservative strategy, the way for pullback has found really good support. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.